All right, I think we're here. I think we're ready to go. Watch, uh, turn that up a little bit. Maybe move the camera over a tiny bit. And I think this is us. <clears throat> What's up, Alex Mercer? How's it going? I'm glad you appreciated the response uh, to your comment there. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that was, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I need to turn up my microphone a little bit. Sound. Device properties. 70. All right, so that should be good. Let me know if the sound is balanced here or not. What's up, an alternative? It is a holiday, for sure. Uh, spent the morning with my kids doing Easter stuff, Easter egg hunt. And <laughs> my boys told me to hide it really well, so I did. And then after they found a few, they gave up. So I think I did a good job. Yeah, Lawrence, uh, Lawrence we're going to do the Warcraft 3 campaign play on Twitch after this. So if you guys want to watch me play Warcraft 3 and do the campaign in the remastered, then go ahead and head over to twitch.tv slash falconpaladin as soon as this thing is done. And we can have a good time there. Uh, Nicholas, I do not listen to musical. I edit my videos because it takes me approximately three minutes to edit my videos. Like each video is anywhere from 45 seconds to maybe two minutes. And so no, I don't turn on any music there. It's just I don't put as much effort into it as uh, as other people do with their editing, I'm sure. Thank you for the feedback on the sound, everybody. I appreciate it. Let's um, I say we go. Something is weird here with the lighting. Is the lighting weird or are we good? Dun, dun. Yeah, I'm with you, RGB. Like, a lot of people put a ton of work into their videos, but clearly they're edited and they look great and they're very fun, but... I don't know. Uh, DC, if you want a Flash replay, <clears throat> I did cast the Cheese Compilation, the latest one that was screened by Squeal of Fortune. And I did that last night. It was a ton of fun. It had great players like Flash and Bisu. We had Boxer in there. I mean, it was fantastic all the way around. So that's going to post on Saturday. So I think my next flashcast is going to be on uh, be on Saturday. Everybody's very sad about Flash losing, apparently. What's up, Ty Hollister? What's up, DC? So I think we're ready to rock here. Let's go ahead and hop into our replay section for a Brood War Remastered viewer submitted for the year of 2020 and April. We have a day called the 12th. So we have a good number of replays here. I haven't actually done the whole screening thing yet. I keep waking up on Sunday and being like, ah, I should have sent the replays to my screeners who were very nice to volunteer to help me out and then I just never used them. So I think I'll do it this week, how about? So Thursday, if you're a screener, I'll send you, you sent, you spelled it right, Jorge. Uh, I'll send you the replays on Thursday. If you can get them back to me, your selections by like Saturday night, that would be best. And then we'll get them ready to go. The best ones will be uh, actually cast next Sunday is the plan. What's up, Oleg? Yeah, a bit of an early start. Oh, good. David Lecomte likes RJB's casting. Huzzah. Uh, anything special you need to know? Uh, Broren, this is just going to be a user-submitted replay casting session. We do it for about an hour and a half, and then we'll play a couple games. Uh, I'll play with you guys for about 30, 45 minutes after that is generally how it goes. You don't have music going? Can you not hear the music? What's up, Pablo? Yeah, I got the beard going, love. Oh, you do hear it. It's low. Okay, hold on. See, this is what I'm asking about when I ask if the sound is good. <laughs> Can you guys hear the music and stuff? Uh, let me bump it maybe a little bit here. Is it better now? Is it? Could it be louder? 
You guys want to hear louder? We can do louder. Ah, bummer, Sean. It is a holiday, though. What's up, Trinidad? Okay, it's good. Lachlan Short is here. Alright, so this, I mean, the sound effects should be about the same. It's a good point, an alternative. What's up, Super Dave? Happy Easter to you, too, my worker rushing by, uh, buddy. Um... <laughs> What are we going to do here? Well, I'd like to start off with a shorter one. We do have one featuring uh, Dead Infested here and Kyla Ronis, who are two members of the Discord server. I kind of want to get them involved in this. Which one is that? Hey! Thank you for the super chat, Matt Perkins. Much appreciated. Uh, what game settings should I check, Nicholas? The Scouts one is dead. Fastest crazy fun. Da, da 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 Is there anything in the... Oh, Scout Shuttle Reaver. Is that... Oh yeah, there we go. There's Kai. Alright, you guys. We're gonna do this fast, because it's a 41 minute replay. Because you guys are playing some insane... Insane StarCraft lately. Some long games. All right, so bottom side is the very pink Protoss player, Corrupted Halo. And then up this way, we have the Teal Zerg player. It is Kai Laronis, also known as just Kai. We're going to go four times in the early game here because I don't think anything's going to happen yet. But yeah, these two dudes are in the Discord server. If you want to join the Discord server, you can. Let me, in fact throw a link in here for you guys to join it if you are so inclined because I don't think anything is happening in this game yet it is a pool first play from uh, from Kai though alright we made it there's your discord link So these players do seem pretty evenly matched. I've cast them before, and it seems like they know each other pretty well. We're going to open up Gateway Forge here, as he's worried about the pool first play and the potential of Zerglings, but it doesn't look like there are actually any out here for Kai at all. So, you know, maybe the cannons are a little bit overkill. What you want to do is use this probe to see how many Lings actually come out of these hatcheries. If you don't see any, then honestly you can kind of skip these cannons and get your nexus down faster. You really don't have to start the cannons until you see the lings popping out of those eggs. Ah, Nicholas, you're a Terran BC spammer. I didn't know that. It's always nice to put, uh, put names together that way. So anyway, nexus coming up quite nicely here. On the other side, we're going for a cybernetics core, as you want to do if you're a Protoss player. You never skip that. Hydrolisk Den, love this opening out of Kai. He's getting Burrow. Whoa. That's interesting. Why is he opening Burrow here? I guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah, what the heck is this map? That's a great question. I don't recognize it at all. What is this, dead? I'm going to assume Dead probably knows. Oh, it's one of the new ladder maps. Okay. Far enough. Kai needs to work a little bit more on putting his workers to work as soon as they pop out, which I understand is difficult and really annoying to have to manage all the time, but it's just required to be good at the game. I don't... Is he not... Oh, so he just found Dead. He just found the Protoss player here. We're going Scouts. We're going Fleet Beacon. We're going Air Weapon Upgrades. Uh, all right, this is where we live. <laughs> yeah, Teal's EPM isn't incredible, but I like what he's doing. I like that he's getting a bunch of Lings and Hydras out. It's good early game versus uh, Protoss, at least until they get things like Reavers and Storm out. So here are the Scouts, and here's the Robotics Facility. Now, here's the thing. I feel like a Ling Hydra attack would really ruin... Uh, 
Ruin Dead's day here. I don't know if he has enough to handle that. The scouts are terrible versus Hydras at these numbers, at least. There aren't quite enough zealots, I don't think, to really hang with this much stuff. Huh. I don't know. I just kind of feel like there was a bit of a window there where Kai could have just jumped in and won the game, but he's being a little bit too passive. If you're watching this, Kai, what you need to do, if you have this many Hydras and Lings, you need to go. You need to be aggressive with them. And defending with those, not going to be as as good if you're just gonna sit here you should have just made a bunch of drones anyway i like his expanding though i mean he's got four bases rolling at 10 minutes which is great i don't know if you guys had like a no rush 20 minute rule or something here but what's up kai i am casting your match against dead that you guys sent in so yeah just going the mass scout play here <laughs> Actually going for some Reavers. Yep, Reavers in production. Citadel of a Dune in production. But yeah, there was definitely a window, I gotta say, where a Ling Hydra attack would have done a ton of damage to dead Kai. If you're gonna make this many Hydras and Lings, you really need to move out with them. I understand you're expanding a whole bunch, which is fantastic. Uh, he is getting a Flyer attack. Which, I don't know if he has any Mutalisks or anything yet. What's up, Simon Johansson? Welcome to the stream. The scout group is eight right now. <laughs> That's pretty good. They're looking good with that pink skin on them. Obviously getting Zealot speed. Really fantastic upgrade. What's up, Paul Bremberg? Happy Easter to you. What's up, life is getting better. Yeah, I mean, this is a good army. This is a uh, 76 supply of Zurich. He's taking this base too. He's doing what you do if a Protoss player is not bothering you, which is expand a million times. Uh, I don't know. Dead, did you get the upgrades for the scouts? You just got speed for them? Okay. I saw an upgrade going. I didn't <clears throat> actually notice what it was, unfortunately. <gasps> <clears throat> The Zerg player does not have any macro hatches, but he has so many hatches normally that I don't know that it really matters. This one is functionally a macro hatch right now. I mean, yeah, we are <laughs> really on no rush 20 here. Nobody's attacked. There has been some scouting that's happened, but otherwise... We're just being allowed to do whatever we want at this point. Alright, so here comes the Reaver Scout stuff. This Reaver ends up getting 7 kills. We'll give him 8 kills if you want. The Overlords are getting wrecked into the ground here. Scout count is 11 of them. There's more Reaver stuff happening over here too. The simultaneous Reaver drops. Dropping Kai down to 30 drones. This is brutal. This is really brutal stuff. The Hydras are coming up. The Mutas are in here, but the Mutas just get evaporated almost instantly. And the Scouts are trying to do the little kiting back and forth maneuver. It's wide out. Thank you, Hadra Hadradavis. Hadradavis? That is so hard to say. What's up, Jorge? Yeah, Hadradavis, I've seen you commenting over to my videos recently. Thanks for doing that, dude. I have been aware. Yeah, so end of the day, 30 drones to 47 probes. A billion, billion bases for Kai. He has all the bases in the known universe, and he has 29 drones right now. And the scouts just kind of win here. I kind of feel like they can sort of just win here. They've got two attack. The hiders are 2-2, which is pretty scary. I'm really surprised Kai has not been supply blocked during this whole adventure. What the heck is this? I don't know what that is. He's almost supply blocked now. Uh, yeah, Paul, my kids are doing great. <clears throat> They're enjoying Easter. We did a little Easter egg hunt this morning for them. My older boys told me to hide their eggs really well, and so I did. And uh, after, after they found a bunch of them, they kind of gave up on the rest, so I was very proud of that. They told me I did a good job. 
My daughter didn't want them as difficultly hidden, so I didn't. Yeah, I don't know that fancy micro is really necessary here because there are no spores and no hydras or no nothing. So uh, Kai's down to 18 drones. I don't know how this game keeps going on, to be honest with you. No, I told them where the ones... I told them where they all were in the end, RJB. We're going to play on US West, Victor uh, Caballero with Angelo. We always do. It's 146 to 52 supply. Dead. Just go kill him. Finish him. He doesn't have a group of Hydras. I guess this is the group of Hydras, but like... You have air superiority and you have speed? Thank you, Ethan, for the happy Easter. Yeah, Scourge would be pretty good. You'd have to have a lot of Scourge, though. I'd like some Plague, maybe some Dark Swarm. It's tricky. It's one of those strategies that the enemy doesn't need Spellcasters for, but you as the Zerg player definitely need Spellcasters for. I like how he's discovering all these bases and being like, wait, what? Yeah, that's a good question. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, there are two or three drones at every one of these outlying bases, and they're all dead now. Kai's doing a great job building overlords. He's floating about 2,000, 5,000. Uh, dead is as well. Yeah, Dead is kind of playing with his food here, isn't he? I mean, this is another base you can easily just wander in, kill these drones, and kill these overlords. You don't really have to engage with those hydras at all. There we go. <laughs> yeah, David, that's pretty much what happened. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I kind of feel like what Kai should have done is just made a million Hydras and just force the issue. Just come attack these bases. I'm not sure there are any Reavers for you to worry about. Look at all of these scouts not doing anything, Dead. These guys, too. Get them in the action. I want scouts everywhere. <laughs> uh, Sean, I do Warcraft 3 streams on Sunday. I don't do those on Saturday, and I'm planning on doing it here, well, a on Twitch <clears throat> after, whoop, whoop, after this stream. Yeah, Sai, this is dead infested. Go and scout play against his enemy Zerg player. So yeah, if you're watching this and you want to watch me play Warcraft 3, the campaign, and the Reforged campaign, after this is done, we'll head over to twitch.tv slash falconpaladin, and we will do that. It'll be tons of fun. I'm really excited for it. We're doing some Night Elf stuff right now, I believe. We're still on Night Elf. No, we finished the Night Elf campaign. We're going to move into Frozen Throne. That's what it is. We're moving into the expansion, starting today. Uh, yep. Oh, you're Hydraulic Gold. What's up, Hydraulic? Hydraulic might be my newest follower out on Twitch. Hydraulic is a cool dude. He's been watching me play uh, World of Warcraft Classic out on Twitch. <clears throat> and yep, Sunday Twitch streams are for Warcraft 3 Reforged campaign stuff. Alright, we're going to speed this up because it's pretty much just going to be dead wandering around... Killing stuff. Kai is getting... He got adrenal glands. Okay, I support that. <laughs> this is an annoying composition, Kai. I believe Dead experienced that firsthand, and that's why he's doing it. Uh, we could do a phantom mode game today. I feel like getting upset at people. Sure. Sure. I think I can win this time. I think I've lost more than I've won in Phantom Mode. Hey, what's up, Bin Fan? So 
So Rua, he's trying to do a thing where you kind of kite back and forth. You only stay in range of the enemy when you're attacking and then you pull back. It's hard to pull off correctly here. Dead's trying, but it's difficult. I think he's just practicing that. Do I want two CDs? What the heck? Two CDs, Spooky. What are we on about here? See, this Hydra group is insane. I really think this Hydra group could just A-move and win right now. Spooky. Coming with the Edgelord stuff. Look, man. There are no Reavers. There are 0% Reavers right now. This is just Mass Scout. I think you just win if you just go and kind of keep your Hydras together. Oh yeah, bring some Zerglings for the Adrenal Gland stuff. There we go. This is where we live. Any Reavers in production? No. This Overlord scouting into seeing what we're dealing with. How? Wait, wait, wait. Make more. Okay, he's going Scourge. No, 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 no. Make more Hydras, Kai. You gotta make more Hydralisks. This is how you win right here. The Spores are doing some work here, but also dying. Is he going for Anabolic Synthesis? He's getting Ultralisk upgrades. I kind of love that. 109 people watching already. Fantastic. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We're doing Scouts versus Hydras to start this sucker off for some reason. Alright, so now the problem is, the map vision is not very good. And I don't think Kai knows where the rest of dead stuff is right now. Kai has a ton of resources, but no tech. Just kidding, he has a Hydralisk then. Make Hydralisks! Just make as many hydras as you can with all this right here. All of this larva. Just make as many hydralisks as you can. This is kind of nuts, actually. Uh, million cannons galore. Do the cannons actually win you this game, dead? That's incredible. And hilarious. Yeah, man, they did. Like, the bajillion cannons won this game. If Kai just got Dark Swarm, it's over. Good one, though. Yeah, I think the important component of this you're kind of missing dead is that you need Reavers, too. Right? Just scouts are not going to be enough if your opponent knows... Okay, it's how... How is there ten more minutes of this? What's up, Juan Rubio? Yeah, Kai. I mean, it's, again, if you can learn how to use Dark Swarm, your ability at StarCraft is going to improve about 8 billion percent. Continuing to speed up. Because this game is over. More lings and hiders die to these cannons. It is finished. <laughs> the scout dance is pretty fun at times for speed. You are correct, making computer do things. Hey, we got some Reavers out. That's cool. Did all of your scouts die? <laughs> it's highly annoying. Alright, 
that's game one. 41 minute crazy scout reaver stuff. Mostly scouts from Dead and Kai. That was interesting stuff to be sure. I need to clean up this folder for viewer submitted, I feel like. Next up, I think it is time for an RJB replay. He sends me one of these every Sunday. I like this one. I actually censored this one because it had a different word in the title here. Ah, uh, where are we? That's the one. Li Bakbu and Vitest on Styler. Protoss versus Terran. Boop. All right, so this is an RJB replay. Please check out RJB on YouTube. You can click on his name here and you will find his YouTube channel where he does nothing but fastest map stuff. It's pretty awesome. Juan Rubio, if you want your replay cast by Falcon in one of his Sunday streams, you can do so by sending it to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Brood War. Top left, we got ourselves an orange Protoss player. It's going to be, I assume this is Lee Baku. Yes, it is. And at the top side, it's the brown Terran player by Test, sponsored by Adidas somehow. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. Sure. Sponsored by Adidas. Adidas is now sponsoring esports. Because regular sports are dead. So I guess that makes sense. A little bit of some marine pressure here from Test. And it's actually going to work out pretty well here. That's a cancel on that cannon. The probes are pulling back in. Trying to throw up defensive cannons. Trying to get zealots out. Trying to get a cybernetics core. But this early marine pressure by Test is pretty fantastic. Okay, so the probes are here to fight, and they're decent fighters. Not as good as SCVs, but pretty decent fighters nevertheless. No, Mauta, this is all replays, but this is high-level stuff right here. One of the only high-level replays we'll get today on the Sunday stream, it turns out. But that's okay. The weekdays are for high-level stuff. Sundays are for the fans. Yeah, uh, this bunker positioning is kind of sick. Like, the contain is real right now for Lee Bakgu. Might lose his only gateway here, which seems problematic. Yeah, Sunday fun day, Rua. Exactly. Is he teching up to anything else back home? Mm, getting an academy. He's getting... That's about it, man. It's going to be bio. Going to try to win the string. Trade up with marines and medics and fire bats and stuff. Tossing up another bunker. Slowly bunker creeping on in here. This replay is about 17 minutes, David. I'm gonna try to speed it up in the moments where not much is happening. He's getting a robotics facility, which uh, makes sense to me. I support this concept. Ah, he did find range to hit that gateway without taking cannon shots. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably do a Helm's Deep. And, yes, Marlin, we'll be streaming for about two hours today is the plan. Second gateway down. I mean, the good news is he has a cyber core, which means he can make robotics facilities and, um, reavers and stuff. So he's going to try to reaver his way out of this, which I am 100% in support of. Do, 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 do. All right, so we're going to kill these pylons, trying to supply block Lee Botgo, I would assume. Do, 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 do. All right, man. The Reaver has arrived. Takes out two of the Marines, injures the others. The medics aren't quite sure what to do with their lives right now. They uh, are passive observers as to what's happening. This, I mean, looking the wrong way. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to heal stuff up. Yeah, this Reaver, though, is putting in some work. Shuttle! Shuttle saves him. And the cannons finish off the enemy Marines. All right, so Siege Mode is almost done. That's going to be problematic here. But once Siege... There it is. Siege Mode is complete. And let the firing commence. Got additional tanks in production here. Can they get it? Uh, this is a little nuts. I would argue this is a little crazy. I think that tank just got picked off. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reaver count is nuts right now. It's 70 to 55 supply. The end, or the era of the bunker... God, that tank died instantly. The era of the bunker marine is over. This is not looking good at all for Tess, sponsored by Adidas. No, no. Look at the repair here. Look at that repair. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The tanks are doing some work, I guess. Oh, around the corner and in. Sinks that corner shot. Tank is getting shots off on that Reaver, though. I don't know, man. I feel like Tess could still win this. He hasn't been bothered economically, which is big. Yeah, his factories are all getting wrecked by these Reavers, his problem. And tank down. Reaver, not dead yet. Got five kills. A factory almost toast. This is a fantastic game. This is like really, really good. Marines pre-splitting a little bit there, but the control is too good out of Lee Bakgu. This is why you don't go Bio versus Protoss. For this particular reason. The Reavers have a really good day. Alright, so he's rebuilding his infrastructure back home. Tossing additional factories up. Kind of feel like he's fairly open for a Reaver drop. Am I wrong about this? There's really nothing protecting him up here. The tech exists for the Protoss. There are some Korean words being said here. Who can translate? Han? Hey, look, a zealot. He dead. Look at this tank back here. Just hanging out. Oh, he stims in with the Marines. Gets one of the Reavers. <laughs> this control, though. This control is nuts out of Libaco. I'm loving it. His 300 APM is being put to good use. He's mad at the Protoss player. <laughs> he calls him Sassy Nips. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Alright, so Terran occupation attempt over. Contain attempt crushed. Again, nothing defending this area right here. This all-important area right now. I mean, he's got the vision to see it coming, which is really nice. Hey, what's up, Looney? Hello to Croatia. Happy Easter to you, too. Uh-oh, here we go. This is what we're looking at. Oh, my gosh. Is this all... This is just all Reavers. This is just all Reavers, you guys. Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> I like how this there's this block of pylons here, like, to keep the tanks busy, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, I see you guys. I see you heading that way. I mean, if all the Reavers are over here, I don't know what stops this from happening is the problem. Well, here we go. Ah, he didn't... I guess there's a tank here now. I don't know, man. You just drop them all right here and just go. And I think you win. This is fine too, though, I guess. Maybe supply block test here into Oblivion. Look who's got Wraiths, though. Hey, Wraith versus Reaver. Let's move. Supply block is real right now. Like, eminently real right now. 
Yikes. 58 available supply for the Terran. He's still crushing here with the tanks, but he's got to worry about this more than anything else. Uh-uh. I mean, the shuttles are fleeing for their lives. I don't know. This could be a win by Tess. This is really tight. Whatever it is. The Reavers can't really wander into tank. I think, actually, they probably could. If they all go now and just get a shot off right here. He's not doing it. Go! No! Oh, didn't get the shot. He tried evacuating, but he was going to be way too late for that. All right, we got a million defensive reavers back here now. Tess is still supply blocked, which is horrible. What are these probes doing? What the guys? What happened? Ah! <laughs> is he trying to bring probes in? What is going on? Why did he pull all his probes off? He's supply blocked, so he's murdering his own probes. Uh, I guess that's fair enough. Neither player has a ton of supply available. Crikey. Okay, this game is bonkers. This is really good stuff. Uh, he's down to 20 probes, which is really bad. But the Mass Reaver army has some thoughts here. Here come the two wraiths. They're going to town on Reaver Army of Doom. This is kind of hilarious. Just a, yeah, like a mass Reaver Army. The Marines are chasing them. The tanks are chasing them. Oh, <laughs> what a hit. What a hit. Yeah, these wraiths are absolutely MVPs. Dude, I think Tess just won this. He's got 52 to 16 workers. Yes, there's a huge bank right now for Libaku, but... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is this the one? Is this the one? Pull the... Pull the SCVs! Oh, we're firing on the tanks first, eh? Okay, I guess. That didn't really go very well. At all, actually. RJB changes his Starcraft account every three days. So just be aware, it will not be mint cake or question next time you ask him. That was not the best drop I've ever seen out of Libotgu. Hey, what's up, Mr. Bagitka? Yeah, look at this scout play. Who said make scouts? Somebody who's very smart. Look at this. This is basically the mass scout play from the last replay, just with Wraiths. Incredible. Uh, yeah, love, we'll see a TVZ. We've got a couple of those in the, uh, in the pile ready to go. We're trying to make Corsairs, which not a bad idea, but you're just outnumbered by a bajillion. And the splits are good here, too, and they need to be. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I... Th I think Libaku is done. He's ripping through his bank as fast as possible. Yeah, I mean, Lee Baku has just never felt safe to build inside his own base today. Look how much of test base is his and how little of it is the Protoss players. Ooh, taking some splash damage on those rates. Not good. But not terrible. Yeah, I agree. Dragoons would have been a better answer here.
These Marines have stim and nothing else, I'm pretty sure. Look at them chasing down that Reaver, hunting it down. I don't think anybody has any upgrades in this game at all, except for stim and like shuttle speed and stuff like that. Yay, Matt. Yeah, that was a fun, uh, fun match for sure. Day 9 versus Artosis. If you guys haven't seen that one, I'll toss it into the chat here in a second. Yeah, I had Guardians, Ultralisks. It was crazy, man. We had Wraiths in the mix, too. Yeah, Marines are 50 Minerals, Sai. Yeah, and we've reached the point... Scarabs are worth 15 minerals, though. I mean, they cost 15 minerals. Yeah, this is it. The tanks have arrived inside the Protoss base. That always signals a GG. Every single TVP I've ever cast on fastest map, once 18 tanks arrive in the Protoss base, they're dead. Uh, you know, Luis, I haven't been able to find any more G uh, Day 9 replays. The only ones I have that I recall are Day 9 versus Artosis and Day 9 versus G5. Which was a ton of fun. Don't get me wrong. I'd like to find some more, though. Maybe I'll do some more hunting later today. Yeah, Gonzalo, I'm on US West. I mean... That's the GG. So he does get a bit of a reaver drop out here, kind of, but... Uh, could have been a decent hit. Whatever, it's fine. It's over. It is a fanito. Happy Easter, everyone. Welcome, and hope you're enjoying the stream. 162 people. Not bad. Da, 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 da. Let's find that replay. <laughs> there we go. Ah, I might have actually had an inerrant dot at the bottom here. Yes, I'm in Utah. It's up Goran. It's up Bowen. Okay, that second link should work for Day 9 versus Artosis. If you want to watch that, really fun. Any more Carbot replays? I don't think I have anything actively scheduled to post, but I can toss one up next week for you. That'll be fine. What's up, Kids Pro TV? Let's go. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. An email got stuck in my eye. Dun, dun. I kind of want to do this one just because of the emotions involved. Let's do this. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. An email got stuck in my eye. Vincent Ju. I don't know how to say that name at all. Vincent Ju. First, uh, welcome aboard. First time watcher. Very good. All right. So we're going to do a uh, I Saved All Your Butts replay name here. It's going to be SDFOP. His teammate is going to be way down here. It's the Blue Protoss Magnet 0612. And then Imba Justice Heart. Good names there. The other team is Slovic. Mermaid. And Zeratul. I think we can handle this just because all the like brown earth tone color teams are the same team. And all the brighter colors are the same team. I think we can roll with it.
Yeah, <laughs> what's up, Clark? Hey, Swim Jim. Yeah, this is good Protoss music, isn't it? Alright, we're gonna majestically follow this Overlord for a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Alright, stuff happened. Did I miss anything while we were majestically watching that overlord? No, I don't think we missed a thing. Did you guys see anything on the mini-map? I guess maybe there was some death over here, but... Save overlord. What overlord? This one? This one might be dead. Yeah, overlords are big bunches of gas. Alright, what are you guys doing? I'm not even sure who the mad person in this replay is, but we could maybe figure it out. <laughs> yes, Gabriel, I'm in Utah right now. And it's where I was born, and it's where I was raised. I think they, there was a study that, like, 70% of Americans end up living as adults within, like, 50 miles of the place they were born. Something like that. The best Easter candy. It used to be Cadbury cream eggs, but then they made them smaller and garbage. So it's not Cadbury cream eggs anymore. Uh, I don't know. There's these little chocolate-covered almonds that we always get that I really enjoy for Easter. I believe that Utah has the, like, fifth fewest cases of the virus in the country. Something like that. We're doing pretty good. <laughs> Put peeps in the microwave. I don't like peeps. Way too much sugar. <laughs> RN Jesus may let us have a Zerg win today. Maybe. I mean, if the Zerg player isn't dead in the first 10 minutes, they're usually pretty good. And so far, they've been left alone. Reese's Easter eggs are pretty good, but they're not any different from normal Reese's is kind of the problem for me. And Utah is huge. It's one of those big Western states that are like as big as eight European countries. Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, Nevada. Those big states. With very low population density overall. Exactly. Two million people live here. The vast majority of us live within like a one, like a 60, 80 mile stretch. Up in northern Utah. That's where I am. Trail Blazing 5. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin a few times a week. Uh, my day job is I do software testing for a cloud backup product. And I still have my job, which is nice. I've been working from home, like most people, the last few weeks, and it's been fine. 
All right, so this Protoss Mermaid has been left all to his own devices down here for the past forever. And uh, he's just, I don't know, he's doing all right. What's up, Kazo Breaks? Uh, yeah, Mountain Time Zone, correct, Gabriel. Mountain Time Zone is like Idaho, Utah, Nevada, New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming. Incredibly sparsely populated, but really big states. A lot of uh, national parks in that area, too. A lot. Hey, we got carriers coming from Magnet 0612. Uh, I'd call this pea soup. Pea soup color. That's where I'd live with it. Hey, you're in Missoula. I've been to Missoula. Missoula in the summer is a nice place. I imagine Missoula in the winter is snowbound. Uh, yeah, I'd say mainly carpets trailblazing. Mainly carpets, um... A little bit of hardwood and stuff, but yeah. Oh, did he just friendly fire splash? No, what the heck? Wait, no, wait, huh? I don't think so. Why do those drones just die? Hmm. Either way, suddenly it's really bad up here for uh, SDFOP. He's just got Dragoons wrecking his face. Oh, the Zerglings died. Okay, so FDFOP is gone, unfortunately. Which means that Team Bright Colors is down here in this bottom area trying to stay alive. The Lurker's not doing super well because they don't have any Dark Swarm. <laughs> Trying to hold off here. Where are the carriers? Here are the carriers. They have arrived. They're trying to help. But yeah, Yellowstone has wolves. Yellowstone National Park up in, well, Montana, Wyoming, parts of Idaho. It's kind of a big area. Yeah, yeah. This is pretty good carrier control. Not allowing the Dragoons to hit the bodies of the carriers directly. Carriers up the left side. Zeratul's in trouble. That's what he gets for playing Zerg. He has... Oh, he Dark Swarmed. Hey, Dark Swarm. Must be the money. You can use emotes if you want, Psy. Look at that Dark Swarm chase off these carriers. That's so cool. Meanwhile, very strange Lurker drop down here. Sort of accomplishing things. Yeah, there we go. There's an emoji. Continually trying to push in here with Dragoons. Dark Swarm doesn't actually protect buildings, Amauta. Saludos, Humberto! <laughs> Gracias. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, did you just plague the Interceptor? Oh, he plagued all the things. All right, all right. Nice plague. I'm support, supporting plague against Protoss, always. Unless it's Archons, because they don't care. All right, man. So, blue and red here. Team Captain America. Or whatever. Team France, I guess. A lot of countries use red and blue, it turns out. Carriers here from Matt. Oh my gosh, they're getting sniped off because... They're plagued. God, that's beautiful out of Mermaid. It's really good. And no habla espanol. 
I, I can sort of read and understand it sometimes. It's like a French-Spanish thing. It's a romance language thing. A lot of cognates. You can puzzle it out. Yeah, exactly. The Slavic countries use red, white, and blue, too. But I'm going to call it Team Captain America, for behold, I am American. Uh, the splash damage of the Lurkers is not negated by the Dark Swarm, so you're not as protected as you thought you were there. Okay, hold on. We got scouts in the mix, everybody. All right, all right. Scouts, get in here. Stop going after spores. Ah. Uh, Zeratul's gonna lose all of his defilers. Why are you here, guys? What service are you providing? Well, they're alive. That counts for something. Yeah, I think the color combination most used for country flags is red, white, and blue. Without question. Hey, what's up, Jack? How's it going, buddy? Okay, so Zeratul is effectively dead. I mean, I think he has some defilers out here. He sure does. That's pretty cool, I guess. The flag of the Netherlands. What? I mean, what's orange? Why would they put orange in their flag? Red and white, eh? That's right, red, white, for Canada. Yeah, purple historically was very expensive to get. That's why it was the color of royalty for so long. Now it doesn't matter. Orange is your national color? Man, these defilers? Oh, one of them just died. MVP kind of here. A little bit. The flag of Utah has a beehive on it, Trailblazing 5. Black and gold on your flag makes it seem like you're an alcohol label. Slovak continues just sending dragoons down here to die. He's okay, never mind. He has a giant scary carrier army. We're good. He's doing better than I thought, everyone. Don't worry about it. Carriers wiping out Mermaid down on this way just because there are so many of them, even if they are plagued. They're still hitting hard. And here comes a Zerg drop. Where'd all his carriers go? Oh, they're here. Uh, this is problematic for all of your Stargates. Alright, carrier versus carrier battle. Hold on. We gotta stand and fight. I wanna do carrier versus carrier action. Ah, he ran away. Dang it. Hiders are coming in to try to save the day here. Oh, this might be our screenshot right here. Sure. That's our screenshot. It's chaotic. Ah! Chasing away Slovaks.
<laughs> Poor Quebec. They should just be France already. Could they secede and just rejoin France? You think that'd be okay? What's up, Piotrek? You think France would take them back? Alright, well, Slovak might just be done here. This is really bad. I mean, just, yes, this whole huge base. His carriers are actually kind of unopposed down this way, though. I know, but theoretically, Gabriel, what if... What if Quebec wanted to rejoin France? Do you think France would be like, okay, or they'd be like, no? So, uh, Nemesis says, no, not gonna happen. France doesn't want it. We have a few replays to go through here, Oleg. Alright, so what are we looking at here? Zeratul still has nothing, somehow. He's still just Dark Swarm Defilering up here. He has the... I guess he has this base. So he's not dead dead. <laughs> You're not wrong, Jack. If you can EMP carriers and plague them, they're really easy to kill. Yes. Not wrong. No gambling in Utah, no trailblazing five. There's a town in Nevada called Wendover that's just over the border into Nevada from Utah, and that's like the gambling capital of the state for Utah, basically. That's where everybody who gambles in Utah goes, is Wendover. I only have one defiler left, says Zeratul. I don't think so, Oleg. I think I... Well, uh, maybe I have. Maybe once or twice. Defiler, plague something. Hey, he got the plague off. Nice job, Defiler guy. This group is all plagued now. Kill the carrier, says Zeratul. The Corsairs are trying, but they're getting distracted by the interceptors, which is always bad. Ah, uh, DTs taking down the hiders, even though there was detection. I'm really impressed with how uh, Magnet and Imba Justice Heart have been able to hold on here. Help! More carrier destruction on Mermid. Yeah, Mermid is long distance mining with his bajillion 58 probes. Which is kind of hilarious. This probe train is nice. Jack, I don't know, we'll play in about an hour here, something like that. Yeah, it's like three shots from a carrier to, or from a scout to kill one of these carriers. <laughs> That's fantastic. 
the average internet speed in Utah. It varies wildly. Some people have dial-up. Some people are on cable. Some people have DSL. Uh, some a lot of people have fiber in the Salt Lake Valley. I've got fiber, which is awesome. Uh, I pay like sixty dollars a month for gig up, gig down. Been really reliable too. I haven't had any problems with it at all. Emba Justice Heart getting dropped by Reavers and attacked by carriers at the same time. Uh, yes, the Salt Lake exists, White Paw. Now only blue is left. I'll go Devourers and Defilers. Let's get them. All right. All that's left now is Magnet. With Magnet's 103 total supply. Slovic is at 192. Where the heck is Slovic's army that he has 200 supply? And what is it? He's got two carriers. Uh, a bunch of scouts. And trailblazing, yes they are. Hey, we got Devourers. What a match. What a stupidly great fun match this is. Carriers, Defilers... DT devourers. Chase them down. Take down Magnet. And Magnet has left the game. Nicely done. I'm trying to figure out which of these players sent me this replay. And said I saved all y'all. I'm going to assume that it was Zeratul. Just because he got the Devourers at the end. He had the Plague in the Dark Swarm. Even though he really didn't do much of anything else. He was just the caster guy. Which is kind of hilarious. What's the best thing about Utah? Uh, I don't know, man. I like the mountains a lot. I like the mountains. The Mormons are planning on going to settle uh, other worlds with their colony ship. That's what colony ships are all about. What's up? Can I play, please? Okay, what time is it? All right, we're going to do two more of these. If you're here and I have your replay and you want me to cast it, speak now or forever hold your peace. Let me see if there are any names that I recognize here. Uh, oh, there's a Can I Play Please here. Well, Can I Play Please is here, so we're doing this. Absolutely. Greetings, uh, Goran, to Bulgaria. Bonk, bonk. What is this map? This is not Styler at all. Alright, well, let's check it out. Team 1. Here, on fastest whatever map this is, it's, uh, I can never say that name. Is it Nietzsche? Something like that. His teammate is Singatuloko. Holy smokes. Singatulo... Singatukulo. Singatukulo. That's crazy. And then Pepe, 83. Other team. Holy crap. Sakwil. Spriktic tick. And can I play, please? Thank goodness, can I play for having a decent name today. Thank you, I appreciate that. Alright, Goron. 2v2 turns into 1v2. Got it. Uh, Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Alright, thanks. Yeah, Tori. I'll be streaming on Twitch uh, as soon as I'm done here. Like, I'll go from here to Twitch instantly. Doing the Warcraft 3 Reforged campaign at twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin. So if you want to see that, now is a good time to jump on if you have some time today. Alright, speed this sucker up. Who's doing what? Do -do 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 -do. Hit that like button, by the way, if you're enjoying the stream. I think we 
we've had some fun stuff. Yeah, Tori. Uh, actually, in the terms of service for my affiliate status that I have with Twitch, they said I can't multi-stream. So I'd love to stream to Twitch and YouTube at the same time. I really would have no problem with that, but they would not let me, and that's a bummer. So kind of do different stuff on different uh, platforms that way. Uh, yeah, Frozen Throne is... Yeah, I'm going to do Frozen Throne today, actually. Uh, yes, I finished the Brood War Carbot campaign. Indeed, I did. Uh, I think I... S did I save that? I'm pretty sure I saved that out on Twitch. That whole campaign might just live out there. I haven't saved everything I've done, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure I saved the Carbot campaign. Oh, is this minimap? This micro battles? I didn't realize this was micro battles until right now. Well, the Zerg player might just be dead. Yeah, he is. All right, well, that was a traditional zealot rush of a Zerg player who wasn't quite ready for it and got murdered. And then a million zealots come down to try to kill Can I Play Please? He's a little more prepared. He's got a better Sim City and more Sunkins at least. But uh, this is not great. Thank you, Ashley. I'm glad, uh... <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy the replays. You're very welcome. Is this double zeal- This is double zealot rush, too. This is horrible. But can I play, please, like the boss that he is survives with one sunken... ...and all of his drones. Nicely done. You get four sunkens, you sim city, you get to hide her as fast as you can... ...and you try to make it happen. Well played, can I play? Alright, Hydra push now, and if you don't have Storm, we know what happens to Protoss when they don't have Storm against Mass Hydra. Really, really bad things. Yeah, man, can I play please? Kicking butt, taking names here. I wish Hydras were more of a staple in StarCraft 2, but they're good enough. They used to suck. So they've been improved to the point where they're good, and I'll take that. Yeah, man, this is great. Here we go. Cannons can't withstand. Not gonna happen. Hydra's getting down. Going after cannons that are warping in, so they don't even get any shots off at all. And can I play, please? Gets revenge on the Zealot Rush, completely wiping Singatukolo off the face of the earth. Fare thee well, Protoss. Is this, uh, this it? Yeah, green doesn't have a home anywhere else other than this stuff, so green is toast. Uh, other blue guy's getting some tanks. He doesn't seem super great. His APM is all of 46. So, looks like Can I Play is gonna have to carry here a little bit. Again, where your storm is at. He's just getting a Citadel of a Dune. How about you? You have your storm? All right. Templar Archives is done for Pepe here. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, thanks for translating that name for me, you guys. Kind of. Uh, we'll call him Sing. Are you going to attack today? Can I play, please, says? No, he's pretty terrible. Like, if he can snipe down... He did actually stop Storm from happening. That's pretty good. Uh, 
That's actually really helpful, Can I Play Please. Did you know that? Did you know that he sniped the opponent's uh, Templar archives? That's super cool. So that means your hiders are way more effective than they normally would be. Lurkers, detection is present. DTs are not going to do much. Ow, 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 ow. They're going for it, though. The overlords are slow, though. They don't really accomplish much in the end. Uh, no. Terran guy, uh... He's having a really bad time against this mass sell it play. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing he did. He took down the Templar Archives and slowed down Storm for one of the Protoss, and that was it. Hey, it's time! Oh, yeah, no, he did. He did, can I play, please? He was getting Storm like three minutes ago. He could have had Storm available for this drop. All right, so it's turned into a 1v1 here. We've got Can I Play Please versus the legendary Nietzsche. Is he not left? Is Pepe not? Oh, Pepe's alive. Dude, Pepe. Man, I love Hydralisks. They're great. Crackling's very good, too. <laughs> yeah, Ashley. That uh, that fastest map replay where that Terran just nuked all of the things, that was uh, about three or four weeks ago, wasn't it? That was one of the better, more entertaining replays I've ever been sent. That was great. All right, what are you doing, Can I Play, please? I know you better than this. There we go. We got Guardians. Of course he's doing those things. So, Guardians, not super great. But if you have a million Hydralisks and a hundred Guardians against Protoss, you can kind of do stuff. So we're looking at, ooh. It's kind of like a grayish brown here. And there's a little bit of Storm here, but not enough for what you're dealing with right now, Pepe. I'm afraid that is the truth. If you sub, will it alert you when you're live streaming? Uh, I don't know, Ashley. That's... If you click the notification bell... Actually, I don't know how the notification bell works in relation to regular videos versus live streams. Does anybody know that? Hey, thanks for the Twitch follow, Nordvatul. Appreciate it. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay. We're alive. The storm didn't kill all the things. Uh, there were some Corsair. There's a Corsair. I see it. Yeah, if you... On this page right here, where we are... Uh, I'm not... I don't know, man. If I'm not streaming, there's a notification bell you can hit that will push notify you when I'm actually live streaming here. So is it's just all the same thing, Choco Man. It notifies you of everything I post on YouTube and when I go live streaming. Is that how that works? Next time, don't put me in the away team. What the heck? Can I play, please? What does that mean? Were these your buddies and they put you in the team with the scrubs and then you kick their butts? Is that what happened? <laughs> I can beat you alone, says Nietzsche. That's not true! 
What are you talking about? He just beat you two all on your lonesome. That, uh, Nietzsche, you just got your butt kicked in a 2v1 scenario. That's hilarious. <laughs> and he's out. That was hilarious. Good one, can I play, please? <laughs> nice work. <laughs> GG. Yeah, I mean, I'm interactive with you guys because you're not like a thousand people is the thing. I've watched other live streams of people that are huge and it's like, chat is scrolling like this. And what do you do? How do you interact with that? All you can do is basically call out donations and like subs and stuff as they pop up on the screen. But other than that, you got nothing. Hey, thanks for subbing on Patreon. Pete's key, I appreciate that one. Let's go ahead and toss that into the chat too. Bam, 200 viewers indeed, DC. <sighs> Thanks, Ashley. Yep, do my best. Again, it's only because I'm not big enough for it to be impossible yet. We'll see how that goes as time passes. All right, we're gonna do a 2v2 versus turns into a 1v2. Yeah, you can slow mode it, that's true, but that's kind of lame. I don't know. I don't know. Flash versus Jadon Carbot, says Jack. Uh, I have one of those. Did you want to link to it? Or what are we asking for here, Jack? Alright. Sent in to falconpaladin at gmail.com. Subject. Brood War. We got ourselves. Kid A? Uh, Kid A? Kid Est? Feels French. And Zernub versus Vitansky and Arg. So we're going to red versus blue this one because the colors are not really helpful here. You want to see a Flash versus Jadon Carbot? Oh, it's Latin, White Paw. Thank you. Okay, hold on one second. Flash versus Jadon and Carbot. I think it's... Is it up to 100,000 views yet? Could be. Here it is. Uh, yeah, 119,000 views. There it is. And let's go back. We got a proxy setting up here from Team Red. Yeah, Hornburger, I do. Uh, yep, it's it's a different game for sure. There was some concern that StarCraft 2 would basically just be a reskinned version of Brood War, but that's not the case. It's very different in a lot of ways. And I love them both. They're like my children's. My children's aren't the same, but they're mine, and I love them. And StarCraft is the same way. Yeah, that's fair, Joe. And again, Carbot's different. Carbot's different from the regular... Uh, Brood War skin. I mean, this is... I don't know, man. It's all StarCraft. I love all of it. That's where I live. Cheese is easier in StarCraft 2. That's probably true. I can see that. Alright, man. SCV's coming in. Ah, oh, it's a double team arama Going after Arg down here. There are Marines and Lings cruising on in. Where is your teammate? Where is Blue? Where is Blue Terran? Blue Terran is not here. Bunker up. Uh, I love my children more than StarCraft. But I'm just saying. That I love my children the same, even though they're different. It's kind of the same deal with StarCraft. StarCraft 1, StarCraft 2, different. I love them. So Arg is dead. But then, Marines from Vratansky come over here and start wiping out top right, interestingly enough. But then the Zerglings make quick work of that, and we come back in. But this is a 3SCV uh, situation for Kidest. Would I love my children if they got infested? 
Um, infested Terrans have a pretty short lifespan, so like, they'd probably die real soon anyway. So sure, I could love them until they exploded on something and died. I guess. That makes sense. Alright, gonna bunker contain the Terran here, but guess what he's working on? That's right, tanks. It's gonna be the tanks. F Wait, what? Why? Is he gonna try to drop barracks into... Yeah, he's gonna try to drop barracks into Vitanti's base here. Can I host a Flash versus Jadong? What do you mean, host it? You're not wrong, Joe. I could... Yeah, that's possible. I could just go find some Zelnaga artifacts and de-infest them. You're right. Stukov is a cool dude. I mean, it's only 10 damage, but it fires pretty quickly, and it's pretty good anti-muta defense. The range is really good, which helps a lot. It's always weird when, if a Zerg player leaves a game, and there's a couple Zerglings around, one of them turns neutral, and the other one remains the original color. I've seen this more than once. I don't know what it is about the game. So Batonski's up here... Gonna hold the enemy ramp against Hydra attacks, which is kind of incredible. Hydra's coming up. They get the tank, but the marine count is too high. One is a coward. <laughs> uh, De Gaulle does not make an appearance in StarCraft 2 because he commits suicide in Brood War. Uh-oh, lurkers are out. Alright, you guys are a little trapped now. Some good micro would be nice. Oh, he got the lurker! Vitanski coming through! With his 91 APM, like a boss. That was great. Fantastically well played. So we live over here now. And down there. Man... I don't know, Vitansky. He was able to use tanks and marines to break out here. Yeah, it's basically kind of turned into a Vitansky versus Zer Noob replay, hasn't it? So it's basically a TVZ at this stage. That's a lot of lings, man. Pretty good micro here from Fatonsky though, keeping stuff alive. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play uh, Cyberpunk when it comes out. Oh, another Lurker down without firing a single shot. Holy smokes. That was great. That was really great. Fatonsky has some nice moves, you guys. He's taking these Lurkers down like it ain't no thing. He's got another bunch of reinforcing units coming on down. I really wish there was a 1.5 replay speed. Like, one time seems a little bit too slow sometimes, and times two is way too fast most of the time. Uh, queens? I don't see any queens. We do have a queen's nest. So that counts for something. Yeah, Red Terran is alive up here. He's doing all right. All right, man. Siege tanks. The lurkers. He's got the science vessel, though. Another lurker down. Move this tank up. Ah, uh, he's also going to take down this hatchery. Vitansky is everywhere. This is so good. 
Doing good, Kai. How are you doing today? Hope you're enjoying your Easter. Did you find some Easter eggs? There we go. Pick them lurkers out of the ground. Sending reinforcements down to make sure this base dies. Effectively keeping the Zerg on two bases. Which a one-basing Terran can defeat. <laughs> hey, Jack. Alright, so there's one science vessel, two science vessels, and I think you're right. I think he has two. It's got defensive matrix rolling, though. That's very exciting. Yeah, man, there's nothing here. Push. Push in with your nothing army and you're going to be fine. Zerglings coming in. No upgrades on those lings. It is plus one attack for the marines. No upgrades for the tanks yet. And a radiate on these zerglings would be super stupid good. Got the energy for it. Toss it down. These poor medics are all out of energy. So that's not a great time to go into battle when everyone's out of energy, but... Ah, okay. Sounds good, Kai. Hope you have a good Sunday anyway. Yeah, these Lings kind of single file running in to their doom there. Not great. Not great. Yeah, Zernoob's at 41 total supply. It's 78 for Vitansky. He's being extremely patient. My Sunday's been good, Kai. Did an Easter egg hunt with the kids earlier today. I've said this a couple times on stream, but my older boys, who are 12 and 9, uh, or 11 and 9, rather, he's almost 12, 11 and 9 wanted me to hide their eggs really well. And so I did. And they didn't find all of them, and they gave up, and I was very proud. I have not blank empty. I haven't heard of that game, no. So we're going to irradiate the hider that's going to be dead anyway, and this is an A move situation. Here we go. Batonsky's expanded. He's got a group up this way. What he needs to do is just start making tanks. Yeah, defensive matrix buddies. Can't kill us. We're defensive matrix, Sid. Lings rolling to their deaths here. What he needs are lurkers on this high ground, but he's one base in it. Hey, look it up. Kedes showed up. Hey, this guy. He got to tank tech somehow. No, it wore off. All right, man. So somehow he holds on. But this is a problem. Uh, yeah, Ether, I do. I uh, do not think that's going to happen, Jack. No. <laughs> Hey, Evan. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Zoom came in kind of out of nowhere, didn't it? It's really the big winner of this coronavirus thing is Zoom. Uh, can Hangouts do, like, eight people at the same time? I don't know. I've never done that many with Hangouts before. I've only ever done one-person conversations. Maybe that's the problem, Evan, is nobody's used it in a while. I don't rightly know. Alright, so Kedes here is down to 7 total supply. He's done. Vitansky is floating some money here, but he is producing stuff. Alright, see Evan. Have a happy Easter. Boom, boom, boom. And Zernu taps out Vitansky. Showing a lot of patience. Maybe not the fastest play. 
But he's playing Terran the right way. With patience. And that's your winner. Winner, winner, it's the chicken dinner. All right, very good. End of the day, Vitansky produced only half the units that Zer Noob did, but killed almost 300, which is awesome. Resources better for, uh, in some ways, for Zer Noob, but even on resources, it's never good if you're a Terran versus a Zerg. Okay, do we have any more? Any other replays from people that are actively in chat that want me to cast their replay they sent me earlier this week? If you do, let me know. If not, we're done. My Wraith impression? Uh, okay. Wraith awaiting launch order. It's one of my favorite ones. I also love the Vulture one. What do you want? It's always good. They're always so mad about stuff. Everybody else is professional, but like the Vulture bike pilots are not cool. Hey, Joe. Have a good one. Take care, man. All right, I think that's it. I think that's it for replays today, then. That's cool. <laughs> Need a light? Yeah, see, Firebats are just calm and collected and awesome that way. Let's do this thing. I want to do... I'm going to start with the Helm's Deep. Okay, here's the rule, guys. If you hop in here and I don't recognize your name, I'm banning you from the game. If you are going to come in with a different name than is on the chat right now, let me know in chat before you, like, now. Okay? And then when you hop in, I won't boot you. Does that sound reasonable? I think it does. Use map settings. Okay, so David here is ESC414DE. All right. Got a second for you guys to put names in the chat. I'll be right back. Sounds good, guys. Got some IDs. Let's do this thing. I hope it doesn't do the... Oh, awesome. We're good. We're good. Yes, that's me, Fritz. It is me. Who's what the... Jack Hannox... Amendment is RJB, right? Because I booted you last time. No. Amendment wasn't RJB. No, 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 no. Amendment was in the phantom mode. Whatever, it's fine. Boo-boo. Alex Mercer-esque is here. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go. So uh, we're always on west. Always on US West. No, Jack, it's a Coke Zero. Look. Ugh, Coke Zero. Cherry flavored. My favorite. I really should play other stuff. Maybe. Gosh dang, I just love playing Zerg on this.
Let's not get trapped this time, shall we? Run! Ah! Who got him? <laughs> I thought he was safe! Alright. <laughs> I thought he made it out of there. Who got that final shot? Uh, my favorite pop culture reference in StarCraft 1. Uh, I dove too deep. No. It's doing that thing again where it's not showing me the stuff. Uh, this is Helm's Deep, Marlin. Let's try to get the same people in here. Ah, Bagitka got in. We're missing one person from the last game. I'm sorry about that, but I can't... We're not going to fix it. So it's Helm's Deep. Uh, the password is always Sock. Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, if certain of the heroes die, then that's it for one of the teams. Like, the team is dead. You gonna help kill this? Nice. Alright. I think maybe just this? And then we get out of here. Oh. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's Renji. I'm sorry, Renji. That sucks. So we should be able to get the drainage gate here and then just pretty much go at this stage. Sock. <laughs> My favorite custom hotkey is uh, um, Z for Zergling. Zerg track is good. Hey, what's up, Cal? <laughs> yeah, live streams are different that way, huh? These ghosts are dying. I'm not sure we'll do a big game hunter today. Maybe. Maybe we will. Do, 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 do. 
Uh oh, was purple struggling? I thought purple was good. What's wrong with purple? Got him. Nice. Yeah, the green ghost is Legolas. Oh, Eowyn got down. That sucks. That is not good. Yeah, purple's not that good either, whoever purple is. Hey, thank you, Cal. Hello to England. Saruman died. That's not good. <laughs> hey, humanity wins again. That Gimli is almost dead. I mean, there's really no way we win this, right? Maybe peel off, that'd be nice. It's always nice to have somebody who knows what they're doing, at least for the two Zerg, like two major Zerg players, you know? Thanks for the super chat, Chad. <laughs> Appreciate it. through I tend to agree with you this isn't going to work in the long run but it's sort of working right now Come help get Legolas. Some pretty good work there, Legolas. Doom, doom, doom. 
free for all would be fun. We've done a couple of those before in the past. Microsoft account problem. No. That's your Discord link. Yeah, let's re it. Ah, uh, yeah, we, if you're gonna be. In a couple certain spots here, you can't be bad. You can't be super new, at least. All right, Peel Lab got in. Nice. Yeah, US West. Uh, it's going to be Falcon something. The passwords always suck. I... Nice. Thanks for joining the Discord, y'all. Also, again, I will be streaming Warcraft 3... If you want to watch me do that, out on Twitch here after this stream. If you want to come over here and give me a follow, that'd be fantastic. Uh, Alright, so this is our guys. Let's go. Yeah, we'll do Reforged here on Twitch right after this. There we go, we got a follow. Thanks for the follow, Meffers. Okay. Our forces are under attack. Somebody lagging? Uh, so it saves the VODs out on Twitch, Fritz. So if you go to twitch.tv.slash Falcon Paladin and you select videos, it will show you all the most recent videos that I've done. And you can watch the VODs over there. It's not bad. Pretty handy, actually. Yeah, we'll do it sometime, Pitsky. Go low ground hydras. Hey, you're welcome, Fritz. Pretty much, Chris. That's how this works. Yeah. At least if you're Zerg. Yeah. I got a good teammate this time. Peel Lab knows what's up. that one okay fair enough i guess uh marlin or which streams are you asking about youtube streams or are you talking about uh twitch streams because youtube automatically puts these streams into my list of videos that i've cat that i've posted uh twitch i have to do a little bit more work to make sure they get saved forever but it does keep them there too
All right, see you, Vincent. You coming? Infested Terran, just the one. I can only do that once. Oh, yeah. Um, it's usually going to be part of the Falcon Plays. Playlist, Marlin. I know I have too many playlists. It's a problem. But, uh, yeah, it's called Falcon Plays. And that's where you're going to find these. We got it. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. Uh, they're not all Brood War. A lot of it's StarCraft 2. is the attack position actually and yeah I like attacking more than I like defending a twitch speedrunner huh that's exciting stuff what do you speedrun I like speedrunners. No nostalgia for Aragorn. What, Hanex? What are you talking about? You're Aragorn? Okay. Yeah, I played Aragorn a bunch. It's true. I think I like... I've just always enjoyed swarming more than anything else in StarCraft. That's why I main Zerg. Surround him. Get out of here, Aragorn. Breath of the Wild and Hollow Knight. Fun. Metroid Prime and Zelda. Nice. You've been doing couch commentary for SGDQ? That's awesome. I want to go to a GDQ someday. I really do. I think it'd be fun. Come on, get Aragorn. Get out of here, Aragorn. Go. <laughs> Brown, please move tanks. Lol. That's not happening. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Do do can't touch this. Do 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 can't touch this. Do 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 do. Uh oh, Jack's getting overrun. Oh, and Hama's dead. Forces 
There's gotta be a better trick for getting through here. I just don't know what it is. Dead. That's not good. The Great Hall's been destroyed. Purple's doing really well here. Annex is fleeing. We got this. Your Legolas died? Oh, almost got him. Okay. to break through here, but it's not going super well. Yeah, Blue's in trouble. Jack's a little lost. Uh, I don't think the Ultra Commander does Splash, no. It's really save him for the end, from what I've seen. We're pushing. Slowly, slowly pushing. Come on, Haldir just wiped out my tanks. Yeah, they should have fell back or fallen back, I think. Defenses now vulnerable. Oh, Legolas. Oh, Legolas almost got trapped outside. That was scary. I'm going to try something here. Every time I move the tanks up, the stupid Haldir guy comes in and kills them all. He doesn't even get upgrades and he's kicking my butt.
It's just, if he had upgrades, I'd feel better about it, is all. Okay. Hey, Dark Swarm, let's go. That's how we do. Can I play, please? Gosh dang it. You know what I've decided? Forget this. Our forces are under attack. I'm here. You got it. Our forces are under attack. Keep gate hinge gonna die. And here we go. We're pushing. 22 minutes. We got this. Our forces are under attack. ignore blue. I'm wondering how this is going to work. I've never seen this tried before. Traffic jam like crazy Our right now. Hey, thanks only Strider for the Twitch follow. This is Helm's Deep, Craig. Not blue here, I think. Thank you. 
Yes. That was close. That was really close. Haldir gone. Wait, what is this? What is White doing all the way here? This is crazy. Seventeen minutes, feeling all right. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, if they'd blocked Ugg in there, that would have been really good. Oh, did we just drop Aragorn? <laughs> uh, Aragorn wasn't ready for that. No Cerebob. You wanted a 1v1. What? Nope, Swarm does not play by the rules at all. This is uh, US West, I will spam. We finally took down the elf spawn. We're doing this in a weird order. We really are. Yeah, I think we got this amendment. I agree. Oh, their tanks are all dead. That's not good. Do they have any heroes left at all? Oh. Oh, no. Well, there we go. Yikes. Uh, I think you can, Craig. Yeah. Dang. That was brutal. When, um... Uh, who took down uh, Gimli? I didn't see Gimli die. When did he get taken out? Um, oh wait, did I get Gimli? Maybe I'm thinking, no Aragorn. Yeah, I do play WoW, Chris. I play WoW out on Twitch, actually. Yeah, we'll do a Phantom game, and then we'll call it good today, I think. TV Falcon Paladin. That's where I play WoW Classic a couple times a week. If you want to come hang out, that's a good place to go. Phantom game, Falcon, Password, Sock, Phantom 1.7, let's go. Ah, that was me, yes. Sorry about that, but all's fair in love and war. Uh, I don't know. Coronavirus is the coronavirus? It kills people? It's hard to know exactly how deadly it is, just because... Not everybody's been tested. It's really complicated. I don't know. I personally believe, though, that we will be able to... Who's hits mer... Oh, that's RJB? All right. Raging Tea Time has some lag going here. All right, cool, Chad. There's an open slot, Tori. You want to go? Be right back.
Oh no, Hanex is here. Hanex is gonna kill me anyway. Hanex. I think we all gang up on Hanex and just kill him because he's gonna murder everybody regardless. Okay, that's not true. He's just gonna murder me. Do, 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 do. You're so kind. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. No, ob no observers. No observers in phantom mode ruins it. Because then they tell the other people who the phantom is, and that's not cool. It ruins the whole game. Who needs detection? This guy does. Okay, here's how we're gonna do this, y'all. We're gonna watch for somebody who, late in the game, makes a whole bunch of production. Hey, thanks for the Twitch follow, set a call. just sent you a friend request? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's a good place to be in these big, huge games, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Who else needs detection? You do. Have detection. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. That's me on Twitch. Ah, uh, sorry, Alex. Hate it when that happens. That sucks. Teal, this is an A. Teal, this is not your house. RJB, no. This is not yours. You have your own Nat. You better. Or that will be awful suspicious, Mr. RJB. Awful suspicious, I say. Yeah, a little frisky, a little up close and personal here, isn't he? If he takes my gas, I'll command everybody to kill him. You hear that, RJB? I don't know that the Phantom has the ability to do that, to be honest. If they just start attacking people, everybody else realizes what's happening real fast. Even if they have a ton of resources, I don't think it's possible. I <laughs> cannon rush four at the same time. <laughs> I mean, yes. Generally, I have that power.
If I command everyone to kill somebody, they generally will for me. I try not to use that power irresponsibly, though, is the whole thing. It's hard. Okay, not lifting off. RJB, dude. RJB, you have 10 seconds to lift off. 10, 9, 8, thank you. If you get attacked, I'll help defend you. Don't worry about it. I'm making overlords. Got a macro hatch coming up. Teal can handle himself. RJB is very capable. Oh, look at these extra gases in here. How nice is that? The problem with RJB is he's good enough to out-macro everybody even without being the Phantom. It's a problem that we have to deal with. But I believe last time he was Phantom, he told us and we just remade. So I don't know. How's Orange doing? Orange is doing great. Oh, Orange is attacking, folks. Why? Okay. All right. We kill Orange, I guess. Yeah, we'll be there in a second. Please hold. Our forces are under attack. Guys, we're running dumb directions. Mutalist production coming. He's going for it, man. Macro hatches? Maybe. Maybe I do. Yeah, man. Can I play please? Is 
seriously doing all right here. Friendly fire causing problems. make a queen's nest? I feel like I did. I guess I need another hatch. Oh, I didn't have the minerals for it, Tori. Thank you. Friendly fire. Still great. It would be hilarious if it's not our JB, wouldn't it? I think it'd be funny. He hasn't said a single thing. Wraiths out. I really feel like it's him at this point. Well, good. I'm kind of uh, kind of glad he went for it. I haven't seen anybody do that before, you know. Drones get to work. You're five, so you're more drones too. Muta's trying to fight. I did do queen's nests. I did do two queen's nests. That's fine. Can live with that outcome, I think. Yippee Kaye, mother <laughs> That was it. We got him. That's hilarious. I respect you, can I play please, for going for it. That was fantastic. Much, much respect for trying to do that instead of waiting 30 minutes and then trying to do it. Alright, I want to do one more. I'll do one more what, though? What the? Where's my stuff? I want default stuff. There it is. They get a ton more resources, Craig. Like, so much more. Uh, We'll do one more phantom, and then I'll be done for the day. And we're going to try to get people in here who haven't been able to play today. So if you've already played a couple of matches, like, hold off. And let's get some people in here who uh, haven't been involved. Oh, well, that's broken. Can I play, please? Salute. Hats off to you, guy. That was great. It was scary for a minute. 
Who's six pool? Kali Wobble hasn't played today yet. Kai hasn't either. <sighs> Who's ZRB? ZRB95, identify yourself in chat, please. Six Pool's been here. All right, do we trust Six Pool? Tori, great. Tori's in. Zachary Brown, ZRB, awesome. Okay, I think we're good. Anybody else in chat who's wanted to play today who hasn't been able to play today? Oh, nice, Zachary. Speak now and I will boot Jack because Jack's played a couple times already. Lachlan, you want to get in? There was a lot of Zerg in here, too. <laughs> Lachlan, do you want to play? We need to boot someone to get you in. Not today mean you want to play, or not today you haven't played? All right, good. Let's go. Boop. So much Zerg. No Protoss? Maybe a Can I Play Please will be Protoss. Jack, you're in. Consider yourself spared. No problem, Lachlan. We'll get you in next time. Where was this game first? They said they ported it to Hunters, but... Where was it initially? That's what I would like to know. If you're not Phantom, say I. I. Haha, <laughs> got him. Seriously, so much there. I from ZRV. By the way, interesting that no chance yet for you, Falcon. Oh, yeah, I've never been the Phantom. It's weird, huh? It's kind of odd anyway. Not like the weirdest thing of all time, but it's odd. Hey, Baptiste! Excellent. I am so glad you've been enjoying my videos. Great. Happy to have you here. Glad you could stop by the stream. Do these every Sunday, you know. About the same time. Four hatch expands. I can't do that. People will get mad at me, RJB. And they'll kill me, even though they know I'm not the Phantom. RJB is preaching communism. Hello, Cal's wife, Amy. Happy to have you watching the stream today. Does this not have gas? Butts. This is a bad spawn location for this. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy. It's been worse, though. This gas right here is mine. I will take it then. Extra high latency. Rush purple. Oh, purple has... He hasn't made drones. Oh, snap. I think you're right. You guys, I think it's purple. He has no workers. And he's got three hatches and an evolution chamber. And he's making another hatch. It's gotta be. Boop. There's no way you're doing this on, like, five drones, Kai. Hey, guys. We gotta kill him. In the past, people have absolutely been good at faking. Like, I've lost. Two or three times already? 
because people are really good at faking, it's really embarrassing when it happens. Yes. Set up here, Red. Nice job. Can I play, please? Oh, that's bad news. That's really bad news, Bears. Yeah, we should absolutely give like a lifetime achievement award to anybody who can rush as the Phantom and win. That would be awesome. That would be like the greatest thing. I'm good. Let's get that. Uh... I think it's got plus one, which is actually kind of good. Ah, wrong thing. There we go. Hey, Amelia, it's going fine. Everybody's healthy. Uh, good question, Michael. I don't know. Hi, you getting more upgrades for those lings? Should get more upgrades for those lings. Just saying. Require more minerals. Yeah, lurkers are up. Just straight marine play. Fine, we'll do one more, Bilk. Or busy. It was kind of awesome, though. Good effort. Good effort there, Kai. Not bad. Ah, oh, my mutas are late. How embarrassing. <laughs> good job, Kai. It was good effort. You gotta make more than like six workers, though. Hey, Goran. You're so welcome, Badansky. I enjoyed your game. Did you see the cast of it? I hope you did. We win. All right. Real quick. Gonna update the thumbnail here. We'll get another one going. GG for humanity and not the phantom. YT stream April 12th, 2020. And we go into thumbnails. And we change the thumbnail to update because it hasn't updated for the last two weeks. Because I haven't done this during the stream. And if you wait until after the stream, it's not as easy to do. 
So there we go, and there's the update. We're gonna do one more phantom, because that one was short. I'm being dragged into all sorts of shenanigans today. Uh, yeah, we can try that next Sunday, Michael. Oh my gosh. This bug is annoying. I don't run into many bugs, but this one... Oh, hang on. That might have actually worked. There we go. I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. Who's grouty? I'm suspicious. Who is grouty? Speak now or I'm going to boot you. Grouty. Who is grouty? Say my name is grouty. B is grouty. Who are you, B? You're going to screw up our game? I'm watching you. Alright, do we trust B? How long has B had a YouTube account? Alright, B, here we go. I trust you. Alright, algorithm. Algorithm doing its job. Included a gag. What's the gag they included? That's a pretty good split. That's not bad. Uh, wait, did it? No, not Phantom. Not Phantom again. I do like double eggs, Matt Perkins. Double eggs are delicious. I don't like eggs in general, though. Like, any form of eggs is pretty much my favorite thing. It's usually how that works. If it's eggs or potatoes, I'm on board with it. That would be... Uh, I could do that sometime, Kali. You're right. That would be good. Easy six pool. We're trying to be family friendly here. Yeah, eggs on hamburgers, delicious. Delicious. Eggs in like a Mongolian barbecue kind of a thing, delicious. Eggs in ramen, delicious. Like, eggs are the super life hack, I agree. <sighs> eggs, man. Good stuff. Now I'm hungry for eggs. I've had a bowl of cereal to eat today. That's good, I guess. Eggs? Ooh, on crispy sourdough. No, like fried eggs on a burger, Matt. That's usually how that works. Alright, where's my gas in this stupid area? Gas, where are you? 
Over? Oh, way over here. Alright, cool, I guess. That's it, I suppose. Eggs and avocados, delicious. Uh, no fastest map today, CC, but how about next week we'll do that first. We'll do a fastest map first game. How's that sound? Good, good. I'm glad. Just a little three hatch before pool action. Don't mind me. This is Hunters, Dodger. So it's big game Hunters without the resources. Like you'll notice I don't have two extractors available in my main. So it's regular Hunters. All right, Kai. Uh, you get more resources and build more production. So if there's upgrades, beware of that if you spot with more productions. Yeah. Yep, we've noticed that. Uh, some really smart phantoms recently have done a thing where they uh, wait to build their production until everybody's really paranoid and killing each other. It's kind of awesome. That happened last week. It was uh, Gomatas, I think. He. It was Lachlan, right? I think that's Lachlan. I get names confused. But uh, he didn't do anything, hardly anything, for most of the game. And then when everybody was busy killing everybody else, that's when he built 100 factories and went nuts. And nobody listened to me. I was like, he's building 100 factories now. He's the Phantom. But nobody believed. And we all died. It was bad. It's really, really terrible. Did I not build... <laughs> Uh, no, 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 I totally built a spawning pool. Yep, that was me. I build spawning pools all the time. Holy crap, that was something. Yeah, it's pretty phantom mode to go three hatch before pool. Yeah, phantom games are tons of fun. I don't know who suggested it, but great job. Hurry, I have a spawning pool. Look at me. Yeah, that's always the question, Kali. Yeah, we restart if I'm the Phantom, but somebody did just suggest I could maybe put something up in the top right of the screen or the bottom to cover up both the chat and the resources, and that way I could be Phantom and people wouldn't know. I thought that was kind of a cool idea. It is seriously psychological warfare, yes. Crazy levels of psychological warfare. Oh, is it over the whole screen? Uh, maybe that wouldn't work then. That's a bummer. for that idea, I guess. That sucks. Somebody donate a shuttle? What? scaring you. Mm, blue does look like they're going carriers, that's for sure. True fact. No, I mean, you're right, Kai, that's generally how that works, but if you're smart, you hide it.
Yeah, Blue went mass BC last week and everybody was like, no. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> A very no response to that attempt. Because if you hide it, nobody wants to kill you. Nobody thinks it's you. It works, man. That's how I've seen people win this, is they hide their production. Their, they hide how many resources they have without making anything. And then when it starts getting crazy and everybody's freaking out, then that's when they go for it. That's when they start producing stuff like Mad Men. Uh, who is Red? Red's RJB. Like, Red's doing RJB things. I'm not worried about him. He'll be our biggest ally in the wars to come, I think. Oh, White is. Who was I looking at? Oh, Red is Six Pool. Okay. Six Pool's fine. That, I don't know. Six Pool does have a ton of drones. Just now getting Hive. I don't know. He's basically keeping up with me, which... Kind of hard to tell, you know? I don't know, Hanex. You're pretty tricky anyway. Doing a lot of stuff in fairness. Was yellow kind of going nuts? Ooh, keep an eye on yellow. Yeah, sometimes people that are really low. White's got a bunch of stuff, but I mean, everybody does, is the trick here. And a bunch of shuttles. Yeah, why do you need shuttles if you're not the Phantom? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> Six pool wants to draw straws. I like that idea. That's the trick, Kai. You do. Uh, after this game, Chris, we're going to go over to Twitch and do that. Gas, gas fighting. It's the worst kind of fighting on this map.
In StarCraft 2, it was confusing. What do you mean? Seventy has a Dark Archon, which I am kind of in love with right now. Evolution complete. Evolution complete. Starcraft to Brood War. Good stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Is it a drop attempt from White? White's doing some drop shenanigans. He's trying to storm. All right. White's being aggressive. He unallied you? So we think it's red? I mean, he doesn't have the best upgrades. Just pointing that out real fast. Alright, well. Six all right, six pool and RJB you're fighting. <laughs> Summer board with the classic Epstein meme. Nailed it. Oh, yellow's in on killing white, too. Are we just killing white? Is that what's happening here? Uh, no MC. What do you mean, no MC? Oh, on your SCV? Hmm. Uh, I do not play Diablo, Mark. No. Alex Mercer doesn't believe it's white. Uh, I would not, Renji, no. Say white, look at all these dudes. It's not gonna happen. Purple attacked me? When the heck did purple attack me? Lachlan, I don't have anything. Require more than speed gas. It wasn't white. All right. Six pool it is then. It's 
It's yellow. All forces are under attack. All forces are under attack. Got good upgrades, in fairness. Bunch of carriers here from purple, loving that. All forces are under attack. Yeah, everyone's got themselves some guardians today, it seems. <laughs> uh, there is no backup plan. We're just killing Yellow. I think Yellow just admitted it was him. Well, RJB died for no reason. I mean, he did show up with Storm in a shuttle. It's a fair point. If it's not him, I don't know what we're going to do. Got him. All right, that's three straight people win. Like, the people win plays. Nice. All right, cool. That's it. Hey, I am not done streaming for the day, but if you want to see me streaming more, head over to twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin, like, right now. And we're going to do some awesome, awesome uh, Warcraft 3 Remastered stuff. So come hang out there. Say hi. Keep it rolling. Thanks for the stream. 200 viewers. I really couldn't ask for more at this point. It's awesome. Hit that like button on the way out if you're interested. And I uh, love you all. We will catch you uh, next Sunday with more streaming stuff. I'm not sure what order we're going to do Twitch versus YouTube in again. But I'll be sure to schedule this one at least a couple days in advance. All right. See y'all. Take care. Bye.